Hello lovely viewers, I welcome you to all my days and please if today be the first time you are visiting the channel you don't forget to subscribe, you like and you share and if you go here, this is my channel that is all my days best Korean draw tips with all my days this is the interface of my channel then please you subscribe this one it is already subscribed that is why it, it is in this color it should have been in red but it's already subscribed then you come here then you select all so that we notify with all our new uploaded videos then when you come to videos you scroll down there are a lot of tutorials here okay so you can visit the channel and watch some of my videos and if possible you can watch all my tutorials <laughs> and i'll be happy and if you have any comment to kindly uh, drop it under the comment section and i'll be happy to reply you so these are some of my videos that's my tutorials so kindly visit the omades channel and enjoy more choreo draw tutorials and it is not only choreo draw i will tackle other softwares but for the meantime it's choreo draw that i have tackled okay good so today i want us to learn how we can give effect to font that is font effect font effect so first of all i take test two then i type um let's say style style okay let me stretch it style then I change the font I come here let me glance through let me put it aside so that you will see this is how you, you select a uh, font okay you click here then you can put the cursor here then you use your let's say mouse to scroll through like this you see or you can press the four arrows at the right hand side corner of your uh on your keyboard okay that four arrows that up and down and left and right arrows then you use the up and down arrows to scroll through like this okay i'm pressing it on the keyboard like this okay or if you know the font name you can just type it okay example like uh, i have one font in my head that is shit happens shit happens you see yeah i have this one and i think i have um the acrylic um okay let me take this one also yeah so this is how we select a font okay yeah you come here then you scroll through well i've chosen this one now um i will give it an outline you we'll give it an outline okay so if you press f12 that is shortcut on your keyboard it will open the outline properties okay f12 okay like this then you come to the width and i don't need the, the, the color for the outline i'm just increasing the i'm just choosing an outline okay good okay i've made it two it's okay for me then I come to object then I convert it to case okay good and I copy one outside here now 
you can give it a color let's say um let me choose this one and i use the same thing to fill the outline so you pick the eyedropper eyedropper two okay then i pick this color then i used to fill the outline so that it will be the same okay good now you come here you take contour okay then you come here outside contour this one is uh, to center if you click on to center see okay nothing comes if you click on inside contour like this you see but I don't want this one, okay? I want outside contour, okay? Like this, okay? Outside contour like this. Then I regulate it. I regulate it like this. I hope you're enjoying the tutorial. Here is all my desk. And please, if you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe. For more tutorials good let's say i've chosen this one uh one uh, let me see no i want only one okay now when you finish like this you 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 right click sorry when you finish like this you click on contour then you right click okay you have to select the contour before you right click okay then you come here break contour apart break contour apart okay now when you finish then you select all good it's already on group sometimes it is grouped okay by like this one is already uh, on group so you come here then you increase the outline like let's say um like i told you if you press f12 it will open the outline properties so i increase the outline for it's too small i think it is okay then always click on check this box okay behind fill okay if you if you click on behind fill, you see the size of the outline will reduce in order to maintain the size of the font okay if you don't check this box the size of the font will reduce look at it very carefully have you seen let me zoom it let me zoom it let me zoom it so that see this is the size of the uh, main font okay uh let me take here for example okay i'm giving the outline to this one so this is the size sorry this is the size of the font okay so if you come here and you choose let me zoom it a bit if you come here then you choose the size okay let's say eight And you click on OK. You see? Good. Let me come there again. You choose the size. Then you press behind fill. Okay? No, it's not selected. Sorry. It's not selected. I have to select. Uh -huh. I have to select. Choose the size. Let's say um, 8. Have you seen? I've seen that the size of the font has been reduced okay by in order to maintain the same size i have to click on this checkbox okay behind fail have you seen that it, have, it has come back to normal good so always check this box behind fail okay let me remove it and you see you check it okay so you press okay i think it's still too small let me increase it uh, let's say let me increase it uh, 10 okay good now i come here then i give it a color let's say white okay 
or I can give this blended color by using the smart fill. Okay, smart fill, smart fill. We are creating test effect. Okay. Test effect. Mm -hmm. Then I have to give it a background so that you can see the main test well. Let's say this one. Okay, good. Now let me change this color. Now you come to effect, you come to bevo, okay? Then you control it a bit, let's say the soft and the emboss, okay? Let's check the emboss, apply, and see the effect, apply. Sorry, the, the soft, if you apply the soft, have you seen much difference? Yeah, check the emboss, you apply soft, then you apply, then you can regulate it from here, okay? Good. If you will get it from here, look at the edges here. Okay. So I have to increase it to this side. It depends on how you want it. Okay. Good. Good. This one, it's, it's the direction. Either it comes from here or down here. Okay. Obviously, this one is coming from down here. If you come back, it comes from down here. Okay. If you go down here, if you go to the right hand side, it comes from up here. Okay. Good. So I want it to come from down. Okay. Then intensity. How thickness it is. Okay. Good. So I want it this way. Okay. And you can change the color to let's say white. Let me see. Uh, this one too. Let me see. Uh, so this one, I want this one to be white. Okay, so apply. And this one to I choose something like ash for it. Good. Now, let me still keep on changing this outline color. Yeah. I want something nice for it. I want something nice. Yeah, let me remove the outline from this one. I come here. None. So. This is a test effect. Test effect. I can still change this outline color and change this outline color. Okay, good. Then I can blend the background to let the test appear well by choosing a different color. Different colors like, um, let's see this. Okay, and I come here. Okay. Okay. Let me see. This one too not bad. Okay. You are still watching on my desk. If you are new to the channel, can you subscribe for more tu uh, tutorials? Yeah. And let me give it more effect. You come here. Take it back to do something like this, okay? Yeah, then you increase it and change the style from here. Okay. Let me go 
with this one and put it aside then I put this one here I fill it with a color okay let me increase it okay and here let me change the style okay then I copy one okay I rotate it and copy with a mouse okay good I select it then I come to effect I have to convert it to bitmap sorry come here then I come to Gaussian blur like this oh, sorry. okay something like this something like this good press ok now i put on my font like this this one the font should come up so you right click order front of page i want it to be at the center of page so uh, you press p good let me delete this one it's not necessary anymore now let me reduce it to this level this one will come here like this yeah then this is my final work let me delete the guidelines yes, yeah so viewers this my test effect if you zoom it this is how is it very nice one i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you have any comment can you drop it under the comment section okay Thank you for your time.